So today what I'm going to try and do is, is hook up a, a voice a command system for my Latron box. It's currently operated by this little black uh, remote control. It's a bit temperamental and occasionally fails. My wife has had a problem getting in here and we don't have a gate built into the fence. So I'm looking for an alternate way to, to activate this remote. So you just press this single button and it does, does activate quite well on my switch but occasionally it hasn't worked. So I bought the kit today and I'll show you how this is all going to go together. So I've opened up the Latron um, box here and as you can see there's a bit of build up on the on the point where it connects the, the battery. So it's a bit of oxide or, or copper sulfate build up and from my reading that this is because of a, um, the quality of the connector here they should have probably used a higher quality connector so I'm going to brush that off and try and clean it up a bit. But what I'm going to have to do, I've, I've ordered from Amazon a, a voice activated um, a internet connected uh, unit. I'll show you that in a minute. Basically what I have to do is test here where, where I want to connect it. And you can see here when I make a full connection through the pliers here, um, I'm going to have to put the connection to these points here. So you can see here as, as I touch those two points, that's where the wires, wires are going to have to go in because as soon as I make the connection it will open and close. So to connect the voice activated unit to a, a permanent 12 volt supply unit I've actually got to use a connector here and I've just checked that it, it fits into the slot here so I need to do a little bit of soldering um, to the to the Wi-Fi unit. So this is the unit that I'm going to try to get working uh, on my uh, gate opener. It's, it's designed as a garage door opener but I'm going to try and get it to work on my uh, gate opener. And uh, as you can see, I've pulled it all out. Uh, this is the unit here. It's got a long wire here and a USB connector for the power option. Uh, what I've had to do is get a, a 12 volt, 12 volt to um, 5 volt output. So 7 volts to 22 is the input, and 5 volts to 3 amp is the input here to try and power this unit. So you can see here on the back of here, the reason why I've done that is you, so you can see the 5 volts. Um, draws up to one amps so hopefully that'll be sufficient to run this Wi-Fi garage garage door opener and what I also didn't have is um, some bits and bobs to to get the connections happening so I've got this um, little soldering iron kit that I got off uh, AliExpress for about 15, 15 bucks on special and um, what I have to do is solder solder these two wires onto this unit so as to, to power it and, um, and that way I can establish a, a Wi-Fi connection and do the voice commands. We'll, we'll see how this goes. This is all just theoretical at the moment. Hopefully it all comes together and works nicely. So as you can see, I'm probably the world's worst soldering e expert. So what I've just done, I've, I've just rigged up a little thing where I can slot the wires into the, to the connector here. And, and what I'm trying to do is drop a bit of solder into it to, to make a, a reasonably solid connection. As you can see, I'm a bit of a hack. I've, I've had a bit of a go at the plastic <laughs> various ways, but uh, it'll get there eventually. So after a bit of mucking around and, and trial and error, looks like I've got the negative on the negative um, and the positive on the positive. It's a pretty dodgy connection, but you know, hopefully I'll only improve from here. Well, this is it, guys. Look, I've just uh, I've managed to get my dodgy soldering job uh, connected into the 12 volt, which is outputting the, the 5 foot. 5, five volt um, uh, output for my Meros app to, to work. All I did was download the, the Meros app. It uh, was asking for all the different brands of, of uh, garage openers. I just said unknown and it connected to this and uh, then it linked me to my Google app and to my Alexa app. So just to show you how it's all set up, uh, Google and Alexa were pretty straightforward to, to set up uh, but it's a little bit uh, trick in that uh, it doesn't really activate on open gate but it'll activate on closed gate because I haven't installed the little um, switch that uh, the garage opener door comes with. But let's see how it goes. Uh, hey Google, close gate. All right, closing gate. And if I say the command again it will stop halfway so I can leave the gate partially open if I want. If I want to open gate I've got to say close gate again. Um, which is pretty easy to do I suppose but it's just not very intuitive really it is designed as a garage opener rather than a gate opener but it seems to function perfectly well so now I'll have an alternative to open the gate remotely and uh, my wife will also have an alternative to get into the gate if her uh, if the switch that was supplied with the unit uh, fails to activate 